Good morning, people. Watch from 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe, that's the key word, believe, in him will not perish but have eternal life. Um, once you accept Christ as Savior, once you believe, you put your faith and your trust in him by accepting him as Savior, and you've automatically changed your mind. You've automatically repented from that, from what you once believed. You've automatically changed your mind from sin, and you've automatically changed your mind about how you feel about Christ. You're clean once you accept him as Savior. I can't emphasize that enough. You are clean. Period. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit leads you, guides you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit changes you. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. Period. Um, folks, things are happening in Afghanistan that are, have gone from bad to worse. I believe um, Glenn Beck's plane is one of these planes that are being held hostage. It says the Taliban holding American planes, Americans hostage at, at Afghan airport. It's, from what I understand, is six planes being held on the tarmac right now says the top-ranking Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Committee said the Taliban terrorist group will not allow Americans to leave from an airport in the northern part of Afghan, while the White House Chief of Staff estimated that if you believe this number, then, you know, you're delusional. There are not a hundred Americans still remaining there. There are more like thousands still remaining there. They're trying to downplay this thing while this resident, demented resident, is in Delaware having ice cream. He's not in the White House. Personally, I don't think he ever was, but that's another story. But anyway... Representative Michael McCall, rep, uh, Republican from Texas, and six airplanes carrying Americans and Afghans are sitting at the Mazar el uh, I Sharif airport in Afghan but cannot depart because the Taliban is holding them hostage for demands. This is off of Epoch Times, and it's also been reported from uh, Fox. In fact, we have six airplanes at Mazar E. Sharif Airport, six airplanes with American citizens on them. As I speak also with the interpreters and the Taliban is holding them hostage for demands right now. I don't know what the demands are. McCall told Fox News on Sunday, the Department of State has cleared these flights and the Taliban will not let them leave the airport. Now, I had mentioned a few minutes ago that I think Glenn Beck's plane was one of them. I'm not sure. But according to what I heard a little bit on Newsmax, it was said to believe that his plane is probably one of them. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. But this goes on to say the top Republican lawmaker did not elaborate the specific demands the Taliban have made to the United States, but, it, but he said it is turning into a hostage situation and said the Taliban will, will not allow American citizens to leave until they get full recognition from the United States. This is bad. This has gone from, this is, <laughs> this is beyond bad. Well, they are not, uh, they are not clearing airplanes to depart. They've set at the airport for at least a couple of days, these planes, and they are not allowed to leave, McCall said. We know the reason why is because the Taliban wants something in exchange. Now, what they want, I don't know. Um, 
He goes on to say, last month, the U.S. military complete, uh, completed its final eviction mission at the Kabul airport while the dopey administration officials declared an end to the 20-year-long military conflict in Afghan. Possibly hundreds, I say thousands, of American citizens still remain in the country. For, uh, for how his administration handled the pullout and chaotic evacuation, resident Sleepy has received unprecedented bipartisan criticism during remarks to the press and, uh, and in his speeches. Sleepy repeatedly defended the pullout and blamed the Afghan army for not being willing to fight the Taliban. Although neither he nor top generals could explain why the Afghan government collapsed in just 11 days and knowledge and acknowledged their intelligence didn't predict such a scenario unfolding. White House Chief of Staff Ron uh, Klain told counterfeit news network State of the Union on Sunday that about 100 Americans remain. They say 100, I say thousands, and so does everybody else. Everybody knows there's more than 100 people on, in that, in that uh, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, we were hopeful that in the coming days, the, uh, they will be able to resume air service out of Kabul. And if they do, we're obviously going to look and look to see if Americans can be part of those flights. We're going to find a way to get them out. Yeah, right. I want to know what the exchange is. Now, it's funny that this is leading right up to 9-11. Isn't that a coincidence? And if you believe in coincidences, then you're also delusional. There is no such thing as a coincidence. They're doing this on purpose. If you can't see right through this, please. They're doing this on purpose. Like I said, it's awfully strange that it's leading right up to 9-11. Now, all of a sudden, they want demands. And I figure if they don't give them those demands come 9-11, something's going to happen. What is this administration going to do? You guessed it. Probably nothing. This is very bad. There's also a pregnant woman over there. She's hiding right now. She might be on one of these planes. I don't know. A pregnant American woman. Folks, I had said it before that something was going to happen. Now more than ever, I believe that to be true. Something is going to break. And maybe this is it. But again, I want to know what the demands are. I want to know what the demands are. This is interesting, to say the least. I will, um, I will put this article in the description box, and I'm going to put some articles on my blog about how the satanic activity is acting, is creeping up big time, especially in Texas, with this abortion thing. There have been several <sighs> decapitated goats found in the rivers. I'm going to link that article also in the description in the uh, in my blog. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep track of this and find out what's going on with this because I have no idea what the demands are that they're asking for. But they are holding these people hostage. For real. And they're not going anywhere. Again, my question is, what is this uh, resident going to do? if he can think to do anything. I'll be back later with more videos. Thank you.